So this is actually a staff instructional video, but obviously anybody can watch it. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a custom tray to do a putty wash impression technique, okay? So we've got a, a model here, which I've already trimmed, okay? So on the model trimmer, I start by trimming, by holding it like that and trimming that part, and then it can rest like so, and then we trim that part there, and then I trim those areas there like that okay now the other thing that i'm going to do is because i've got this bit of a ledge here i'll get, I'll get this sort of plaster knife thing and i just get rid of these bits here I, i'm during this video i've already pre-done some of this stuff so the video is not going to take so long i'll just grab my marker pen here which is right here so normally if i'm doing a custom tray I want to take it down about three or so mils past the gingival margin so that the putty area, that's where the relief is going to be for the, for the wash material. So the putty area will help to stabilise the tray on the areas that we don't have the wash material. I don't need to put any stops with this technique, which is really handy. So the next thing we, we do is we've actually got a just a stock tray and we made sure it fits. I've actually trimmed it at the back there so it fits in there nicely, okay? Um, so with the stock tray, got to put some adhesive. So this is a VPS adhesive, we use the matching adhesive. I've actually done this a little while ago, but strokes like that, make sure it's got a good coat of adhesive on it. Okay, now, um, so that's the tray prepared. Uh, now what we do is I get my Bunsen if I can get it. Okay, so just heat up the wax. Just to soften it a little bit. Make sure one side's heated up a little bit better than the other because that's the side that's gonna be sticking down. Okay, a little, little bit more than that. I haven't got a, a wax knife, so I'm just using a Lacron. And then I apply Apply it like that. Okay, so that's how I do it, right? Anyway, here's one that I made earlier on. We'll put it back on. See, that's trimmed to about where I want it, okay? Now the next thing we do, ideally we should have foil for this, but uh, unfortunately um, we run out of foil, so I'm just using just a bit of Glad Wrap like that. That's gonna make sure that that wax doesn't contaminate the you open that up for me. So here we have, I've, I've worked out how much putty I'm going to use to fill that tray. Now this is really important when you're watching this on how to mix this putty, right? What I do is I, I make a pancake. Okay, go. So the more, bit more accelerator, bit more. Okay, I'm putting a little bit more accelerator here than normal and I just fold that in like that so it's sealed in, okay? The first thing I do is stretch it like that. See, I'm not getting a whole bunch of that accelerator on my fingers or on my, or on my gloves if I was using gloves. And then I just fold and squeeze. You need to make sure you get all of the streaks out and that that material is, that, that that's mixed in well so the accelerator causes the putty to set. Okay? So you should do this fairly quickly. So fold and squeeze. I'll slow it down a little bit like that. Okay? So that's pretty good. There's very little streaks in there. It's all mixed up evenly. I roll it into a ball and then into a sausage and I lay it. Now here I give it a little bit of a squeeze so I get it coming through. All right, and now we take this one and we push it down into the tray. At the back. I'm really mostly interested in this front section here. And that's basically pretty much ready. I'm not having to take a full arch impression here. If I did, I'd have that tray a little bit longer. Okay, now we have to wait for that to set. And once that's set, I can show you what I would do with that. I think I've got one here that I've done before. So this is an impression I've taken before. Oh, here's one I can use. So it comes out something like that. And then what I do is I grab my handpiece, my lab handpiece, and I grab 
an inverted cone burr. See that inverted cone burr? Okay. And if I hadn't used relief, then I go in the tray and I clean it out like so. I won't do the entire one, but you go all the way around like that, right? And that's where the uh, the wash material is going to go. Make sure you get right up onto the gingiva there. All right, so that's the first stage that I do. And then I get this little wheel saw. And I score. Score the inside like that with little little lines and basically the wash material is going to engage those little voids and not delaminate okay so that's what i do there that's how i manage that and then once i've taken the impression so when i take it to the patient's mouth i load it with the material as you can see this is an impression that i've already done before load it with the material and then take an impression and it turns out really beautiful. Okay, pop this back up there. This is almost ready, it's almost ready. So I might take that out. And not quite, oh yeah, getting close. So it came out quite easily. There we have a nice void in there. Now I'm doing a heavy wash, heavy wash material in here. So that's a nice void to go in there when I take my impression, okay? Now usually I will now make sure that it doesn't go past these lines here. So I will trim that up a little bit. And uh, I'll use in the lab, or use something like a, a box knife to trim that up. Don't need it going all the way back on the palette there, so and I don't need much back here. So I'll just get rid of that section there. Okay. And there we have, you can see the void in there. That's where the impression material is going to sit. I'll put a little bit of extra in here, probably, you know, two and a half mils or so. You can see the palette acts as the stop, as an occlusal stop, so it doesn't go down, okay? And this acts as a, a lateral stop, and on the sides, it's touching it acts as a lateral stop so that table that tray is quite stable in the mouth. Okay, so that's basically it. We're done for this video. I hope you enjoy it.